the evening is three rounds of the Clan Horse Catch Weight Battle. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 143 pounds. Fighting out of Shaolin MMA, presenting Fionn Magalier! And his opponent making his way to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 143 pounds. Fighting out of IFS, presenting Brian. Clamor is 29 and we now are in a catchweight bout at 143. Why didn't they just agree on 145 and call it featherweight? I will never know. But we have <laughs> McLear versus Brian Malone here at Clamor's 29. Are the tie shorts a signal of what to expect here by the IFS man? Malone is all action. He's starting off slow and, and controlled here, but there's one thing we, you can guarantee. He is uber fit. And he will, he will be able to go, he could go double the distance of this. Both fighters just having a look at each other and a little smile there by Brian as, as the kick landed there from Fionn. McAleer, obviously the more rangy fighter. Very, very tall, very lean. Brian. Brian's, I'm guessing that Brian's uh, game plan here is going to be, is going to be to take him to the ground at some point. Very powerful, very, very powerful man for his size, Brian. Coming in with some nice hooks there to, to get in close for that distance. Some heavy Malin. leg kicks as well. Malin's, Malin's got the hands clamped. Malin there working for the single there. Magalier spreading his base wide. And with his stature and size, that is a wide base. Very much so. Malin should maybe try and switch to a single leg here. Or come away there. Nice work by Malin nice as well. That Just create a little that, bit of yeah. distance, Johnny, and landed some shots. That's... that's that's something I actually absolutely love doing. You create a wee bit of distance, come in, just break away. It's not a full clean break, and then come back straight in. He's, he's got, got a good league. single, changes to he's a double. Changes, rev it up, there we go. Good Malin's work. Malin's on top, Malin's on top, and he's working for the mount here. He's working for the mount. Half guard by McAleer. And again, just the position in here, up against the cage, this, this could aid more so McAleer that the mount isn't probably the best position with him sitting upright if this was centre of the cage uh, Malin would be in a lot better position now, McAleer's done something which I'm not a huge fan of he locks his half guard up here rather than keeping it an open half guard he locks up this attaches you to your opponent keeps the opponent within punching range I'd give that first round to Malin Yes, I'd agree there, Malin. He was aggressive. As you came out, he's all action, but he sat back and picked the shots. Closed the distance, as you alluded to as well. Got the takedown and done some work. you got to give the IFS man the nod in round one. In between rounds there, Malin was waving out to some friends, I'm sure, in the crowd. But as you said to me there in the break, he's as fit as a butcher's dog. And the energy, you can see it. He's bouncing. There's still plenty in the tank. Absolutely. He's, he's, you know, he looks to be enjoying himself here, I have to say. McAleer again will he try and keep it at range he flicked up some nice head kicks in the opening round McAleer has to keep it at, at, at distance he has to if he doesn't he's, he's, he's could well be in trouble he's much as you can see as you're watching he's the much rangier fighter but so far Malin has, has the better success getting in the inside working his way in with kicks like that or combinations some beautiful work there by McAleer though smile from Malin so it normally means yeah you got me good shot yeah now that's one thing it, uh, Malin should not be backing off the cage he needs to move he needs to circle away he needs to be circling away from the the par hand or the right hand here is he getting reads here is he sitting back and letting McAleer do a little bit of work and getting a read on what the young man is doing and then he's going to try and exploit it I, I think he is he's, uh, he's definitely been a lot more measured he seems to you know wants to let it go to sort of the centre of the uh, centre of the round and then sort of begin to explode in Good work though, you can't be too, yeah, yeah, you can't can, give McAleer can't. that much time because he's coming into the fight. And he's, he's definitely got, his hand speed is good, McAleer's hand speed is excellent actually. But he's mixing it up as well Johnny, he's throwing kicks and he's throwing hand combinations, so he's giving Malin something to think about all the time. This is, you know, Malin needs to get into that clinch position. Oh, there, good, good leg kick. 
he sort of caught McAleer as he was a little square with the leg kick and yeah. almost hooked the legs from underneath him. Every, every now and then McAleer crosses his legs. If you notice when he's stepping back, he'll move his cross his legs. Malin bull rushes him and takes him. And there's the power of Malin. He is exceptionally strong for his size and weight. You can almost say, looking at that Johnny, it almost just looked like man strength against the younger, Absolutely. the younger fighter. Absolutely, very well called. But as you said as well, he sort of let the round go and now he's pushing the pace himself, he, Malin, but did he wait too long? Is that going to be the footprint on the judge's mind as they're writing down their card? you got to say McAleer controlled where this fight took place for maybe 135 of the second round, yeah. so... Again, hard to call. I'd probably have to give that to McAleer. The Camorra's crowd are just... They've been... <laughs> Presented with Scooter in between the rounds there as you come into the third round here. Malin McAleer, you could argue again it's all to play for. More so because Malin sat back and let McAleer come into the second round there. So third round's all to play for. Notice we bit of red redness in Malin's stomach chest area where those kicks landed. Those those were hard kicks by McAleer. Whoa. And more of a slip there by Malin as he was trying to go Whoa, big. Yeah, yeah, there. Malin needs to keep his hands up. You've got a range of fighter with a longer reach. You know, he needs a good kick by Malin. I have to say, Megalier, for a young man of his age, he's shown great composure. He looks relaxed in there. Malin caught him there, though. And again, yes. Good body oh, shot good there. Game. Well done, Megalier. Malin recovers well. Hands collapsed here by Malin. But that was a beautiful step in knee. As Malin closed the distance, McAleer just landed a beautiful knee, but Good oh, kick, they twisted the ankle there, was awkward as they went down again, his foot just got caught on the mat, McAleer looked to grimace on with that, and Malin is now in a great position here Malin in the turn into full mind. mount. Taking his mind, hopefully he just take a, it should just take his time here, not allow himself to be rolled, what happens when you take the mind on, a, on a, an opponent, he tends to go da bucked off for a first 20, 30 seconds. You have to ride that storm out and then take over. He's looking to get out the back door here. Great work by McAleer. Really well done. But Malin right back on him. Right back on him. Malin rolled it just like a wave there. He just rolled with him as much as it was a great escape by McAleer. He he was going to make him pay for that and get into the good position again. He's caught in sort of half guard here. Looking to slide down possibly into full, straight into full mount again. You know, with with the, with a half guard, with half guards open now, but with it being locked, I'm not overly fussed about passing it. He's, he's uh, you're locking your, your your opponent to you in a range where he can strike. Randy Couture made a career out of this. He would give up half guard, and this would just allow him to ground and pound. And that's basically what. He's going to finish him full mount as well. Johnny, a good book oh, by McAleer again, and you've got to say the young man has put up a great fight. Excellent fight. Potentially Excellent. the takedowns are going to get it from Allen there, but a great showing by both fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both fighters. <laughs> After three rounds of action, we once again go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this 30-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Fania!